Retirement planning is, uh, is obviously very important for, for a lot of us. I see some young folks in the crowd. That's always good. I saw a survey the other day that uh, most of the, 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 uh, the people that followed baby boomers, Generation X folks and the millennials and stuff like that, there was a, a survey that said 19% of them believe they will see a flying saucer before they see a social security check, okay? <laughs> so, um, uh, so I think that there's a lot of truth in that, and, and it really – behooves you to, uh, to make some pretty smart decisions and not put it off much longer. For those of you that haven't begun uh, investing for the long term for your retirement, uh, and for those of you that have been doing it, making sure you do the right thing. Let me tell you just one of the, the absolute truths of money. Uh, none of you in this room will ever save a million dollars, okay? You will never save a million dollars. You can try and you can hope that you can do that, but the way people become millionaires, if you ever read uh, The Millionaire Next Door, the frugal investing that's involved in that whole concept, that frugal lifestyle, uh, the way people became millionaires, really there were a couple of routes. Number one, a lot of them owned their own business, but number two, they invested. It's, it was the growth on their money that made them a millionaire. You will never save a million dollars, okay? Try as you may. So that means you're gonna have to make some decisions. You're gonna have to say, when do I make that quantum leap from being a saver to an investor. And there's an obviously dramatic difference. A saver is a person who is more concerned about the return of their money than the return on their money. An investor is willing to accept some risk in order to receive a better rate of return. Listen, if interest rates on, on CDs here at uh, San Diego County Credit Union were eight, nine, 10, 12%, everybody would have their money there, simple as that. But Unfortunately, they have to follow the, the, the way the industry is, and interest rates are very, very low. It's hard to get much over one, one and a half, maybe 2% if you're lucky. Are you willing to ex really extend out your maturities? So it means that for many people, by being so cautious, and this is where folks that are nearing retirement or in retirement really have to, to, to deal with some serious situations, is, is deciding how are they going to make sure that inflation doesn't really sabotage their, their plans for the future. Uh, the whole purpose of investing, when you boil it right down, is one simple thing, to have your money grow at a rate faster than the rate of inflation, okay? And granted, you know, we're told all the time that the rate of inflation is running somewhere around one and a half to two and a half percent. I think most of us that live here in San Diego County know that the rate of inflation is, is, is probably at least double that, if not more than that. Uh, but inflation is a very personal thing. We all have our own personal rate of inflation, depending on how we spend our money, what food products we buy, and stuff like that. So there is no absolute involved with all of that. But you need to have your money grow at a rate faster than the rate of inflation. And again, basically what you're looking at with CD rates and things like that is your money's going to grow, if you're lucky, at the rate of inflation. But you've got to protect the buying power of your dollars, and that's where you're going to have to make some decisions about are you willing to become an investor uh, even in tumultuous times like this, which is probably the best time to do it. So with your retirement plans, your IRAs, your 401ks, you've got a lot of choices. You've got a lot of options and you've got to decide which one is right for you. Every person in this room, trust me, every person in this room has a different tolerance for risk. Okay. There are some people, if they extend the maturities on their CDs from three months to six months, think they have taken the greatest leap of faith in their life. They don't sleep for weeks wondering if they did something terribly wrong. And then there's people in the room that say, Chamberlain, the bus for Viejas leaves at 730, so keep it moving. Don't want to miss it, okay? So everybody's different. Everybody's different. I'm an all-in guy, okay? I'm, a, I'm a, a, a person who has long believed that the stock market is the right way to invest, regardless of your age. Growth is what it's all about. It's the only place I have consistently found that growth takes place. Uh, 